questions for Joe? Joe, first thing before the quarter, you set up, held him down, and also got contribution from, from Pritchard, from Logan, early in that stretch. How important was that? I mean, for you guys to show your depth. Yeah, I mean, I think our. Um, our half court defense was great the entire night. I think you know we talked a lot about against this team the game's connected. You know, you, it, your defense starts with managing your offense because of how well they guard and um, you know they get out and transition and create cross matches with Simmons. And so I felt like our half court offense was great for the majority of the game. In the fourth quarter, you know, we managed the game offensively. We got great looks. We had good spacing, and it kept them out of transition for the majority of the time. Um, and you know, I said it before. As far as our depth, like I trust those guys. And to have a great team, you got to have guys that. Have the humility to know um, when it's their time to step up, um, and when it's their when it's their time, you know, not to. And I think, you know, for Peyton, I'm really happy for him. Um, he's maintained a level of professionalism, um, preparation, uh, and just toughness to just stay the course. And like you talked about, Malcolm, Derek, Grant, those guys, uh, they've done a great job tonight. And so, you know, I think we showed uh, what our team can be, uh, regardless of a whole, is you know, with our mindset, our, our depth, our toughness. Did you guys do anything specific with Kyrie in the fourth Joe, or was that just more individual guys playing well? I think it was, like I said, it was getting them into the half court to where we weren't cross matched, and then it was individual guys doing a great job of taking tendencies. Um, and yeah, it was that. You guys are undefeated on the second leg of back to back. What has gone into that? Has that been effort for you guys? Uh, no, not really. We haven't talked about it. I think just. No matter the game, we just talk about mindset. You know, having trying to have the right mindset coming into every night, knowing that games are hard. Like games are hard. We're actually terrible on two days rest, so I hope we don't have that anytime coming up. And talk specifically about the Derek one. Like, what do you see this whole season from him at a, at a game like tonight with a couple more blocks? Just can you try to characterize what he really brings? To you he plays with such a sense of joy and toughness um, all the time, regardless of how the game's going. Regardless if he's touched the ball, he just competes on both ends of the floor, and he's just a selfless guy. And so he's done a great job um, of doing that throughout the year. And I've, I've said it about him. I've said it about Malcolm. I've said it about all our bench guys. It can't be a great team without them. And so Derek's part of that, and the joy and competitiveness he brings on both ends, and, you know, guys like playing with him. Joe, you talk a lot about your space, and it looks like the Nets want to take away the same uh, just manipulated our spacing and went to a certain play call frequency to which it was difficult for them to, um, you know, kind of double. And I thought with Rob, um, we, we, he just fought for great spacing. And, um, you know, it was something that we talk about a lot. And this team tests you. They test your spacing. They test the ability for us to create space and separation. I thought our guys did that. Rob, pushing close to 30 minutes, how do you feel like he reacted to that? And the balance for him kind of chasing off him. Um, he was fine. I'm happy with him. He played well. Um, there is no correlation between offensive rebounds and transition defense analytically, and so you have to be able to do both. With Rob, is that all part of the management that he had a couple days off? Could you a little longer, or is it just whatever the game dictates? Whatever the game dictates. You talked a lot about the turn of the season when guys kind of stepped in and you know, like Malcolm start for most other teams. He's been great. I think just how they approach every day. And so whether we have a practice day, off day, or, you know, optional day, they're in there working. And so I think just <coughs> having conversations with them, seeing where they're at, and then just, you know, observing their overall professionalism. And, like, Blake's the same way. Like, any time you call those guys' names, I know they're going to be ready because of what they do, you know, uh, every single day. Thank you. The only regret I have is I was going to call a timeout at 74-70, but then I thought I'm not doing it. What did you think of that? Huh?